please subscribe to Sailing Christine on YouTube for everything sailing and the lifestyle. Please subscribe. Thank you. On January, Paul, my boyfriend, as if you watch the shows or the videos, decided to get a puppy. So it's a really long story. And I'm um, sorry, I have my niece right here. She doesn't want to be on video. So it's sort of random. So we do a lot of random, odd things. Don't we, Coral? I'm very random and odd. So the story is I wanted to buy a pig. Our friends, friends, Filipina friends, big piglet, maybe almost a thousand pounds gave birth to 12 piglets. So Paul and I were lucky enough to be there that night, and we fell in love with two spotted pigs. And pigs are known to be smarter than dogs even. Just watching videos and research, I've always wanted a pig. So I asked Paul, can we get a pig? So he kept saying no, no, no. We kept visiting the spotted pigs, and um, I think a few died. I have pictures. So he kept saying, no, no pig. Even my Filipina friends warned me, no pig. Because it was super cute and small, but within six months, it might be like a few hundred pounds. So they kept telling me, no pig. But I kept begging Paul, please, please, can we have a pig? And finally, I wore him down. That's the kind of person I am, very relentless. So finally, Paul said, yes, you can have your pig. We already named it Pokey, um, Pokey for the Hawaiian Pokey. Um, sashimi is tartar with a uh, Hawaiian sauce. Anyways, I make Pokey on one of my videos. So I named it Pokey or Spotted, and we bonded with Pokey. But all my friends go, do not get Pokey, because Pokey will be almost like Mama, which is like 800 pounds. So Paul said, in order for me to keep, or to take Pokey, I had to let him adopt a puppy. And for a boat and a newer relationship, we've never had any pets on board, but to adopt a piglet and a puppy at the same time, too many animals. Because I've never been raised with dogs. And Paul has had over 20 living on a farm, growing up on a farm. So I'm like, no, I don't want both. But I'm thinking, what a bitch. Who am I to tell him not to get a puppy? It's his boat. And he was nice enough to say yes to a pig. So we compromised. Pig and a puppy. So Paul, one, he already liked this puppy from the very beginning. So he has been watching this puppy and he's good at telling the personalities of puppies. So we took the puppy home first, which we named Roxy. So now that I'm in Orange County, been away over a month and a half, I really miss my Roxy. I call her Roxy Poo, Rox Rox. Lots of weird names, and Paul hates the Roxy Poo. But my Roxy, because she's like my child, she is. She's like my fur baby, and even Paul goes, you love her more than you love me. And I say, yes, it's a different kind of love. It's an unconditional child type of love, and everyone knows in a relationship, it's a different type of love. So yes, yeah, she's my baby, Roxy's my baby, and I miss her so much while I'm visiting, but since I'm on a limited budget, I try to visit for at least one month to two months, once a year. So now I really miss Roxy, and we try to FaceTime, or you know, on WhatsApp video call, but Paul says within a few days, she forgets your voice and face, and that's the best because we don't want her missing me. That's like the saddest thing. Roxy has daddy with her. 
and she's so in love with him, so I do miss her a lot, but the few times we did WhatsApp video, no response. Because she recognizes my voice, I yell, Roxy, 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 when I'm there early morning, and I love it, but she jumps on the bed, licks my face, affection, so now I really miss Roxy, and we're so blessed to have Roxy on our boat because it just makes everything just more loving, peaceful, and I don't have children of my own, so she's my child, so we just love having Roxy on board, so on my videos, you're going to see a lot of Roxy. As I'm talking about Roxy, my helper is going to put her right there, right there, or somewhere on the screen. And I'm obsessed with Roxy, and I hope you get obsessed with her too. I even thought about having our own YouTube channel, but I, we can barely manage to. And my Vimeo, so it's too much going on. But Roxy is amazing. She's smart, she's super cute. And um, I hope you fall in love with her too, which I think you will, because I do videos. Ever since she's, she came to us when she was maybe two, two and a half months, she was an island street dog. The Filipinos call it a scout. It's uh, slang for short for street dog, mutt, island dog, just like lots of dogs in the streets. So unfortunately in the Philippines, they have a lot of puppies running around. Nobody takes care of them. I mean, a lot of them are loved, but there's a lot of abandoned ones. So, Pa bought Roxy for less than three, well, maybe three Australian. So that's less than three US dollars. I'm sure we could have gotten her for free, but Pa's nice. So Pa gave the little girl who owns her three Australian dollars. So. I think an island street dog, Eskel, is really not worth a lot. So we're happy to adopt her. And she's been part of our family for, since January, and now it's October. Ten months. So her birthday, and she was two, two and a half months when we got her. So it's her birthday in October or November. So I think she says, Scorpio, just like Mama. So I call myself Crazy Mama, because I am Crazy Mama. That's my channel. Please subscribe and thank you. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine, please subscribe. Thank you.